so we talked about these things and then the sabotage just took place on the Nord Stream pipeline. So what happened? Let's let's just start with the basics, right? So the Nord Stream 1 and, and 2 pipelines, they were sabotaged. There's no other way of looking at it. They, they are around 200 feet below sea level and they're encased in several feet of concrete that, that must even be destroyed before reaching the physical pipeline. And uh, Swedish, uh, Swedish, Swedish seismologists actually reported the detection of underwater explosions during this time whenever they saw these massive leaks, large enough to be registered on the Richter scale, the first one as a 1.9. That was Nord. That was that was Nord Stream uh, two, and then the next two point three on Nord Stream one. Yeah. Shortly after, and these large patches of rolling gas could be seen on the surface in the same area. Uh, also, keep in mind that the Swedish Coast Guard has reported four leaks in this pipeline. It's unbelievable. Now, now hold on. Just so you know, many were upset when this, when you know these terrorists blew up their favorite luxury department store, and I understand why, but please rest assured that this was just and only the Nord Stream pipeline, right. not, you know, not their, your, your favorite luxury department store, Nordstrom, okay? So just calm down, you know, don't get this confused like our White House pre press secretary did with the shutting down of the Nordstrom pipeline. Take a listen. So you've heard us say this, that what, what we see Russia's doing, and we've been very clear about this, is that they're using energy, they're weaponizing energy, and it's choosing to, to one of the things that uh, has been out there to shut down the pipeline of Nordstrom One. Dodged a bullet, people. That's hilarious. We dodged a bullet. It could have been so much worse. It could have been. <laughs> Nordstrom is just fine. Okay? So let's keep going on. What is the Nord Stream pipeline? You know, just you know, get the basics before we continue. What does it provide? This is huge. The Nord Stream 1 pipeline was completed in 2011, and it stretches 745 miles under the Baltic Sea from Russia to Germany. So basically it is the pipeline that uh, will connect Russia to Western Europe, mm -hmm. all right? The EU is heavily reliant on Russian gas. Last year, Russia supplied some 40% of the EU's natural gas. Now, before Russia invaded Ukraine, Germany relied on Russia for 55% of its gas. Now, the Nord Stream 1 pipeline supplied European Union states with about 35% of all the gas they import from Russia. The Nord Stream 2 pipeline began construction in 2016, but its commercial use was delayed after the invasion of Ukraine. Yeah, so that's something important people need to know that uh, Nord Stream 1 was attacked. It wasn't in use, um, or Nord Stream 2 was. Nord Stream 1, incredibly important. Um, and like we're about to talk about a little bit later, uh, uh, a c civilian uh, structure, not military structure. So it's importantly, it, it's incredibly important that it was struck by these explosions. Yes, and that is what makes this event so much different. It was a civilian, non-military target that is key infrastructure for everyday people in international waters, this truly is a huge happening. So you gotta ask yourself, let's start breaking it down, who benefits from this? Now, first of all, first and foremost, I know what you're thinking. I wonder if America did this, okay? Now just hold your horses, you crazy conspiracy theorists, because no evidence U.S. involved in Nord Stream pipeline attack because Pentagon says so. Mm -hmm. All right. So, hey, rest assured. That's good enough for we're me. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We're good to go. No involvement because the Pentagon said so. 
All right, well, you know, let's just see. Fox News reporter Jennifer Griffin has confirmed that the U.S. was not responsible for the Nord Stream 2 pipeline explosion, uh, you know, be, because the Pentagon told her so. Uh, yes, uh, really, the article says. Despite accusations flying that the United States could have been involved in the blast that have reportedly uh, could scupper the pipelines permanently and without any investigation having taken place, Griffin's crack journalism has solved the case. I need to cover my own butt right now. I am not saying that America did this. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I just, you know, I like being free still. I want to continue doing my show. I don't feel like being accused of a Russian operative and, yeah, you know, but you just got to ask yourself who benefits here, right? Who benefits? Now, there is no evidence uh, or indication the U.S. was involved in any way with the Nord Stream 2 pipeline explosions, Griffin tweeted. My question at the Pentagon briefing today, can you rule out that the U.S. was involved? Senior military official, yeah, we were absolutely not involved. Well, that's it then, case closed. <laughs> Absol oh yeah, totally. Nope, <laughs> nothing. I, mm. You know, as Chris Minahan uh, notes, the Fox News reporter has been guilty of brazenly amplifying false regime propaganda before. Uh, so yeah, well, so let's just, uh, let's, let's, let's continue. So we've talked about what happened. What is the Nord Stream Pipeline and what does it provide? Uh, let's let's talk, keep talking about uh, who benefits. Well, <clears throat> it's not the Pentagon. Not the Pentagon, or not the US, the Pentagon says. <sighs> Someone has just got to teach the commander in chief. When things are recorded, they don't just disappear after 30 days. You know, it's like you delete it in your iCloud and 30 days later, they wipe it for you. You know, he just, you gotta remember, you know, these tweets, they stay with you. That you're gonna get canceled, buddy, right? He had to have been a senator for at least a couple of decades before the internet came around. Yeah, so, yeah, he's you gotta know, catch he's up. slow to learn. So days before Russia launched its special military operation in Ukraine in February, Joe Biden, he promised that his administration would bring an end to the Nord Stream 2 pipeline should Russia invade Ukraine. Here's, here it is from the horse's mouth. Let me answer the first question first. If Germany, if, uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. But, do, but how will you how will you do that exactly since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control? We will. Uh, I promise you we'll be able to do it. If Russia invades, then there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We will bring it bring an end to it. Notice he didn't say pause or bring an end to it. That speaks of sabotage, right? I promise you, he said, we will be able to do that. Wow. Uh, Under Secretary of State Victoria Newland in January vowed uh, that Nord Stream 2 would, quote, not move forward if Russia invaded Ukraine one way or another. Here... Here it is from her. Um, with regard to Nord Stream 2, uh, we continue to have uh, very strong and clear conversations uh, with our German allies. And I want to be clear with you today. If Russia invades Ukraine, one way or another, Nord Stream 2 will not move forward. Yeah. So here, you, and, you know, and even the CIA even warned Germany sometime during the summer that the Nord Stream 2 pipeline would likely be a target of sabotage. So who has done it? Who has done this thing?